Hey guys, I am here with Drew from Respawn. Drew is the producer on Titanfall. Uh, Drew, tell us, tell us a little bit about the game. Uh, it is a cinematic multiplayer game that uh, fuses the elements of a campaign game with like story and characters and moments into a multiplayer game that you play with and against other people, and it's awesome. One of the interesting things I've seen about this game is the talk that it uses the Xbox One's magical cloud computers that exist in uh, some sort of server farm somewhere. Uh, can you explain uh, basically what they are and what they do and what they give to your game? Well, actually, they live in multiple magic server farms, uh, and that's one of the cool things about them. Um, so Microsoft supplies a huge amount of data centers around the world and uh, basically gives you an unlimited amount of uh, machines to pull from to run dedicated servers on, which you know gives everyone um, a low ping, you know, low latency gameplay, and uh, does all sorts of cool stuff like calculates our AI and physics and uh, provides a better online experience for everyone. So the computers actually uh, calculate like trajectories of bullets and things falling out of the sky, or I mean, I, I, so I don't quite understand. I mean, that's why I'm asking you, right? Well, they, uh, they're going to perform the function of a dedicated server. So they have authority over who is where in the match and who killed who and you know where you shot and where you are and where you're running to and all that kind of stuff. Uh, as opposed to a player-hosted uh, match like in a lot of current games where someone's console in their house is the server and it's using their internet connection to talk to everybody else. This will be a dedicated server in a data center that you have a low latency connection to. Uh, to just make things as smooth as possible. And uh, what about the PC version of the game? I mean, do you have a, a different partner for that, or are you going to let uh, users run their own servers? Uh, PC, as well as Xbox One, will be running on dedicated servers, but we're not talking about the, um, I guess, underlying layer of that yet. So I guess Microsoft's not generous enough to uh, let the Xbox One servers be used for the PC as well, then? Well, there are things that um, only the Xbox One can do, because uh, it uses a secure connection that would not work on a PC. And uh, just about the, the game itself then, I guess. I mean, it feels like there's a new sort of wave of first-person shooters coming. Like, for so long we've been used to, you know, COD and Battlefield and games desperately trying to be COD and Battlefield. Like, it feels like we're on the sort of cusp of, uh, I guess, the next wave of first-person shooters. How does Titanfall fit into this? Well, we're trying to make a game, first and foremost, that's fun, that we want to play. Um, and it's kind of a testament to our goal when it's 8 or 9 o'clock at night and everyone's still playing the game hours after they were supposed to go home. Um, but really, we're trying to blend two distinct play styles of the pilot, who's really fast and mobile and can get around the map really quickly, and Titans, which are these 24-foot tall you know, robots that can uh, do massive damage. But they're not slow and lumbering like a, you know, in older mech games. We don't call them mechs. It's a bad word in our office. We have a, a mech swear jar. Uh, but we're trying to, to marry those two gameplay styles and have them interact in a way that uh, provides gameplay opportunities that you don't get in a traditional first-person shooter. So it's really the interaction of the two. When you say there's this mech swear jar, can you explain how full it is, how many times it's been emptied, how much money you think it might have accrued over the years? Uh, I think we might have had pizza and beer from it once. Um, I saw uh, in the, the Behind Closed Doors demo that you're showing, there's, there's a gun that looks like it sort of shoots a bit round corners or a sort of wiggly line comes out. I think it's called the Smart Pistol. Um, how many more guns are there like this? Uh, along with playing with mobility and uh, the Titan and pilot gameplay, we've been working a lot on trying to think of changing the way you think of a first-person shooter and what you can do in it. So the Smart Pistol is an example. Uh, of a weapon that uh, functions a little bit differently than you would expect and um, we're just trying to create new gameplay opportunities so we have a lot of different cool weapons that we'll be showing off in the next year and for me the mode that I saw looked very much like I think we were calling it hardpoint but it obviously reminded me very much of domination in Call of Duty will there be enough here for the people who are very familiar with, with that game uh, will be able to fit right at home that is also another thing we've strived for is you can do the coolest thing in the world, but if it's too abstract, no one's going to be able to understand it. So we want to try and keep things uh, somewhat grounded and uh, understandable and familiar. You want to be able to pick up the controller, know what you're doing immediately, and have fun. So uh, we definitely are uh, aware of 
what people are used to and what they enjoy, and we want to just make sure everyone has fun. And can you tell us some of the other modes we're going to be playing uh, alongside Hardpoint? Uh, we're not going into additional game modes at E3. Sorry. And, um, and I take it there's uh, DLC plans and stuff like that as well. Like this is, you know, you can't make a shooter these days without it being a connected experience that goes on for almost a decade, right? I mean, there must be plans for this to keep on going. Uh, well, we're not talking about our plans specifically, but I can say we are not going to have like day one DLC, and we are not going to be tra microtransactions or any of that. So. Oh, really? So, I mean, there are plans, but you're kind of trying to carve out something a little bit new for yourself. Well, we just want, there's, um, we want to make sure people understand we're not going to nickel dime you with microtransactions, and we don't expect you to buy a game, put it in your console, and the first day get asked to spend more money for more content. Uh, what you get on the disc is what you bought, and that's how we're going to do it. All right, I mean, I mean, that sounds good. I mean, I guess, how many uh, players can, can get in, into a match of, of Titanfall? Uh, we actually haven't nailed that down. It's a balancing act. Um, we have the ability to do large numbers, we have the ability to do small numbers, and it comes down to a design choice by the designers and the company in general of what plays best for the mission that you're playing. And, and for the demos that we've been watching, can you say, I, I, can't, I just can't remember how many people are actually being shown in, in the actual demos at the moment. I know it's not final, but how many people are in that? I think what we showed at the Microsoft stage and what we're showing at our booth is seven on seven, um, and then there's, I think, uh, three or four dozen uh, AI-controlled characters as well. All right, I mean, that sounds good. I mean, I guess just uh, sum up what really, really makes your game unique. It's the blend of Pilot Titan gameplay. It's just fun. It's unique. It's the traversal of the environment as a pilot, the ability to stomp on guys as Titan. doesn't get old. All right, I guess, I mean, you keep saying the, the Titan word because it's in the name of the game, but uh, when you saw Destiny had uh, Titans in it as well, did your, did your heart sink? Did you get on the phone? Did you, I don't know, did you rage at your desk or...? Absolutely not. Can't wait for Destiny. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, I'm sure. All right, fair enough. And uh, can you just tell us when the, the game's out and what platforms it's going to be on? Uh, Titanfall's coming in spring 2014 for Xbox One, PC, and Xbox 360.